Hello and welcome. In this video, we are discussing some basic terms related to the graph theory. It is a request, please go through the previous video so that you can understand what is graph theory and how to draw a graph for a network. So, some definitions associated with the graph theory. First, note that all these definitions are related to the planar graph. Planar graph means it is two-dimensional graph. First definition, connected graph. If there exists at least one branch between any two nodes of a graph, then it is called a connected graph. That means each node in a connected graph will have one or more branches that are connected. No node will present as isolated or separated. There is always connection exists between the two nodes. Second definition is directed graph. If all the branches on a graph are represented with the arrow, then it is called a directed graph. So when we studied the previous video, we already know this arrow indicate the direction of current flow in that branch. Hence, the graph which includes or which having this arrow is called as a directed graph and this is also called as a oriented graph. Now many times there is a question, what is the rank of the graph? If there are n nodes in a graph, rank of the graph is n minus 1. Next important definition is subgraph and its type. Subgraph, it is a part of a graph. It is called as a subgraph. We get subgraph by removing some nodes, some branches. Single node also can be a subgraph. Single branch also can be a subgraph. So, number of branches and nodes of a graph will be less than the original graph. Then there are two types of subgraph. One is tree and another one is co-tree. Now, let's see the definition of tree and co-tree and how to draw it. Tree. Tree is a connected subgraph of a given graph. Now, here... It is not just subgraph, it is connected subgraph. Means there exists a connection between all the nodes. Direct connection or indirect connection. Which contains all the nodes of a graph. So tree is a subgraph which contains all the nodes and these nodes are connected. But there should not be any loop in a subgraph. This is important. The branch of a tree are called as a twigs. If there are n nodes in a graph, there are twigs, that is the branches of a tree are n minus 1. So, let us see how to draw a tree. We will take the same example as a previous video. This is the graph of the one of the network. We will directly take the graph. Now, for this, there can be different number of trees. What is our condition? We have to include all all the nodes, node 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, all the nodes and these nodes should be connected. But another condition is there should not be any loop, there should not be any loop in a tree. So this is one of the tree. You can draw another trees of this particular graph also. See here all the nodes I have included, this node is connected here, here. So, all the nodes has a connection. Uh, between node 2 and 5, what is the connection? Indirectly through branch 3, 5 and 7. Between node 1 and 5, branch 4, 5 and 7. So, each node is connected, directed or indirected. But there is a connection between each node. There is a no single node which is isolated from the graph. And another is there should not be any loop. If I will include this branch 1 here in my tree, it forms the loop. So, it cannot be a tree. So, tree is a subgraph which includes all the nodes and these nodes should be connected but 
there should not be any loop so like this you can form another tree also so suppose i will take branch 7 6 4 3 and 5 it also no it will consider a loop so i can take branch 6 1 4 and 5 this can be one of the tree so like this you can form a tree which includes all the nodes these are connected and there should not be any loop one more the branches of a tree are called as a twig so branch 3 4 5 7 are twigs for this particular tree if you are taking another tree there can be another twigs okay so this is a method to draw a tree of a network this is very important because our analysis of electrical network depends on this next definition is co-tree 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 is a subgraph which is formed with the branches that are removed while forming a tree because for a tree there is a condition all the nodes these should be connected and this should not include a loop so to avoid the loop we are removing some branches hence this co-tree is nothing but complement of a tree for every tree there will be corresponding co-tree each tree has a co-tree it is true but each tree and co-tree it has a different pattern or pair different tree different co-tree each tree its co-tree is unique the branches of a co-tree are called links or cords in general links are represented with dotted lines next if there are n nodes in a graph number of links or cords are b minus n minus 1 let's take a same graph and we'll consider the same tree this is a tree which includes all the nodes these are connected and there is no loop so what is co-tree co-tree is formed from the branches that are removed while forming a tree so this is a tree which branches we have removed branch 1 2 and 6 because if we include branch 1 here for a tree it form a loop so we have removed it so branch 1 2 and 6 forms our co-tree and these branches are called as a links or a cords so this branch 1 2 and 6 are our cords or it forms a co-tree so this is about the basics which we need to understand before using this graph theory for the electrical network analysis thank you